Dogs were our earliest companions during the prehistoric era. Ancient DNA studies reveal the intertwined journey of humans to the Americas and their loyal canine friends, offering a glimpse into the fascinating partnership. Studies indicate that dogs are closely linked to the movements of human groups over time and across different regions. For example, when farmers migrated from West Asia to Europe, a particular group of dogs with a specific mitochondrial haplogroup accompanied them. The first dogs in New Zealand arrived with Polynesians, and in the North American Arctic, dogs with a unique mitochondrial DNA signature joined Paleo-Inuit groups around 5,000 years ago. Later, when Inuit groups moved into the same region about 1,000 years ago, a new population of dogs with different DNA signatures appeared. These connections between human migrations and specific dog lineages likely began soon after dogs were domesticated from Eurasian gray wolves. However, we're unsure about the exact time and location of this domestication process. Scientists are trying to uncover the origins of domestic dogs. The first animals domesticated during the Pleistocene epoch amidst environmental changes. Studies suggest the original wolf population that led to dogs is extinct. Dog domestication likely occurred in Eurasia. Despite using genetics and archaeological evidence, the timeline and specifics of dog domestication are still debated. Identifying early domestic dogs from wolves is challenging as common markers like tooth crowding and skull size often don't provide clear distinctions. Disputes arise over claims of early domestic dogs at certain sites due to difficulties in differentiation from wolves. The site of Bono Berkesel in Germany stands out as the earliest generally accepted remains of a domestic dog, dating back to approximately 15,000 years ago. The distinct morphology and genetics of this young dog set it apart from local wolves. Additional potential domestic dog remains have been suggested at various prehistoric sites, including some in Siberia and the Americas, which are still under investigation. Scientists have studied the DNA of many ancient and modern dogs. The analysis of nuclear DNA shows that all dogs come from three main groups of ancestors. One from Western Eurasia, mostly in Europe, India, and Africa. One from East Asia, like dingoes, and one from the Arctic, like huskies and ancient American dogs. These lineages were established at least 11,000 years ago. When looking at mitochondrial DNA, most modern dogs fall into four main groups called haplogroups A, B, C, and D. The majority belong to A haplogroup. Ancient DNA studies found a unique haplogroup A2B in pre-contact dogs in the Americas south of the Arctic, but it has almost disappeared in modern dogs. Within A2B, there are four subgroups, while A2B1 is found all across the Americas, the others are more localized. Scientists use molecular clock analysis to estimate when these haplogroups split. The oldest split within haplogroup A between lineages A1B and A2 is estimated to be around 22,800 years ago. This suggests that dogs were domesticated several thousand years before they appeared in the archaeological record. This early timeline suggests that dogs were likely domesticated by the time humans migrated into the Americas. Researchers have traced Native American ancestry back to a population that diverged from an East Asian ancestor around 30,000 years ago. Around 24,000 years ago, this population split into two groups, ancient Paleo-Siberians in Northeast Asia and the Basal Native Americans at approximately 24,000 years ago. Both groups received gene flow from ancient North Siberians during the last glacial maximum around 23,000 to 19,000 years ago. The basal branch of Native Americans underwent a period of isolation in Northeast Asia known as the Beringian Standstill, lasting possibly 2,400 to 9,000 years. Around 21,000 years ago, the basal branch split into ancient Beringians and ancestral Native Americans. Both populations entered Eastern Beringia present-day Alaska with the ancient Beringians not showing genomic evidence south of Alaska after around 9,000 years ago, 
the ancestral Native Americans diversified around 15,700 years ago into northern and southern branches. The split between northern and southern branches occurred as the ancestral Native Americans moved south from Alaska, suggesting a route along the Pacific coast rather than the interior ice-free corridor, which wasn't yet suitable for human foragers. The estimated time of this split aligns with archaeological evidence of people in the Americas around 15,000 years ago, supporting the idea of a Pacific coastal route. It's important to note that the actual arrival date in the Americas remains unclear, as archaeological evidence provides a minimum age and genetic estimates offer a maximum value. Once south of the ice sheets, the northern branch had a limited geographic spread, while the southern branch radiated throughout the hemisphere, diverging genetically around 14,100 years ago. The relationship between the migration of humans and dogs into the Americas during the late Pleistocene period is fascinating. It suggests that dogs may have accompanied the first people entering the Americas and explores the timeline of their divergence. The Americas were settled by humans relatively late, and it's possible that when people first arrived, they had dogs with them. Dogs could have played a role in helping humans quickly spread throughout the region. Comparing the timelines of dog and human populations, researchers found key points of convergence. The introduction of dogs in the Americas is estimated using mitochondrial data, and it aligns with the timing of human population splits. Ancient American dogs, excluding the Arctic, belong to the same lineage, suggesting they coalesced with the Siberian dog lineage around 16.4 thousand years ago. This time frame coincides with the peopling of the Americas. The evidence indicates that dogs likely crossed the Beringia Land Bridge during the Pleistocene, reaching the Americas before later human migrations. The split between major Native American lineages aligns with the divergence of dog lineages, suggesting they evolved together. While both ancestral Native Americans and ancient Beringians groups could have brought dogs into the Americas, archaeological evidence hints that ancestral Native Americans might have been the first, arriving before the distinctive ancient Beringians. This suggests a connection between the migration of people and dogs into the Americas during this period. Ancient DNA suggests that dog domestication likely began in Siberia during the late Pleistocene, a period around 26,000 to 19,700 years ago. This aligns with the time when humans and their genetically divergent groups were present in Siberia and Western Beringia. The evidence indicates that human populations in this region were small and lived in relative isolation. The lack of significant gene flow among these groups and the absence of archaeological sites suggest limited interaction with communities outside Siberia. As these populations, specifically the ancestors of Native Americans, crossed into the Americas, they brought dogs with them. How did ancestral Native Americans acquire dogs? The researchers proposed that dogs were likely domesticated from a wolf population in Siberia or western Beringia during the late Pleistocene before ancestral Native Americans migrated into the Americas. Among the various groups present in Siberia during the last glacial maximum, researchers eliminate some possibilities and suggest that the ancient North Siberians are the more likely population to have initiated the domestication process. Genomic analyses of ancestral Native American individuals at Siberian sites show evidence of gene flow into both ancient Native American and Western Eurasian lineages. This suggests a mechanism for the transfer of dogs into different groups, supporting their movement both east and west following domestication. The researchers propose that climatic conditions during the last glacial maximum brought human and wolf populations into proximity within refugial areas, leading to increased interactions. Mutual scavenging of kills or wolves drawn to human campsites may have initiated a shift in the relationship between humans and wolves, eventually resulting in dog domestication. The evolving relationship between humans and dogs has played a crucial role in their successful global spread. 
with more insights expected as archaeological and scientific techniques advance. Thank you for watching.